Hi, I'm Kat and it's day two of the winter biannual bibliothon. Today's video challenge is creative expression. It's Dylan's challenge and he explains it as showing love for your favorite book. He suggested writing a letter to your favorite character or author, but I'm gonna tell you a story about a girl named Kat who fell in love with a book series called Vampire Academy. Long ago in the year 2008, a mother gave a young girl a catalog and told her to circle all the books she would like for Christmas or her birthday. That was a while ago, I don't really remember. So it could have possibly been in 2009 too. That girl circled two series in that catalog. First, the Immortal Instruments trilogy. Second, the first three books in the Vampire Academy series. Little did that girl know how much of an impact these two series would have on her life. But we're just gonna focus on Vampire Academy here. Once the girl received the book, she devoured the Vampire Academy books and was dying to read book four because damn that ending of Shadow Kiss. So she waited and picked up that other series. It took her a month to get past the beginning of the first book, but pushing through it was worth it. One day the girl was in Kmart with her parents when she looked over and saw it. Blood Promise had been released. She told her mom she needed it and you bet she devoured that book too. She did the same with the last two books in the series and later on with the spin-off series Bloodlines. By the time she finished Last Sacrifice, the girl was desperate to find people who shared her love of this series. This was when she found the world of online fandom. On Facebook, she found the official Vampire Academy movie page or as it became affectionately known as Oban. She was ecstatic to find people just like her and that Vampire Academy was going to become a movie. It was going to be amazing. She lived through the fan casting of Odette Eustman, now Annabelle, as Rose, of Teresa Palmer as Lissa, and the infamous AA vs BB war. The fandom was adamant that either Andre Andre or Ben Barnes had to play Dimitri. Years went by waiting for the movie, then sitting through casting announcements, on set pictures, and trailer releases. She also discovered the Twitter Vampire Academy community spearheaded by Penguin Teen Australia. Hi Felicity! She chatted with other fans and wanted to be friends with some of the bigger names in the community. And she even won a competition where Dom Sherwood answered her question. I have a question from Kathleen who... At last, the day had come. The Vampire Academy movie was released. The girl saw it four times in the cinema, one at an early fan screening, twice with friends, and lastly, she took her first flight ever and went to Melbourne for the Vampire Academy movie meet. A whole heap of Vampire Academy fangirls met to watch the movie together. There she met other Vampire Academy fangirls in person, met Nick Wheeler, the actor who played Adrian Abishkov in the Bloodlines book trailers, and was too shy to introduce herself to the other girls she had seen in the fandom online. But once she flew home, she continued to chat with the VA family, including those girls she was too afraid to introduce herself to in Melbourne. She continued to attend bookish events when they popped up and definitely got some I Heart Dimitri fits from PTA Live. In this time, she also started her own booktube channel, then named Stakes and Stells. After those two series that her mother had bought her for Christmas or her birthday years ago that deeply impacted her life. Her first video, which she will never go back and rewatch, was titled Thank You Fandoms, and one of those fandoms she gave thanks to was Vampire Academy. When the final book in the Bloodline series, The Ruby Circle, came out, a release party was held in Dimmicks, Melbourne. So the girl flew back to Melbourne. She was really starting to think she liked this place and attended. When she got there, she met up with those three girls she didn't introduce herself to last time and she was now friends with them. She met even more fangirls at the release party and had such a great time at the event that her friends and her were kicked out of the bookshop for hanging around so long. Though they hung around the front of the bookshop so long that they even saw Nick Wheeler, who was also at the event, ride off on his motorcycle and yes, some of them did run after him. But she followed along online when one of her friends made up a pineapple question to ask the cast and when the short-lived BA Pineapple Day was born. By this time, the girl was fully immersed in online fan culture, from her YouTube channel, to Twitter, to Tumblr, to later starting her own bookstagram. It was thanks to Vampire Academy that she had found this community that had become such a big part of her life. The VA community transitioned into the overall bookish community and still runs strong today. And remember that pineapple question? Well, the girl took it on as her go-to meeting celebrity question. She's asked it to the likes of Jay Christoph and Amy Kaufman to Keenan Lonsdale and Matt Daddario. But most recently, she asked the question to Dominic Sherwood, who answered and then suggested she should get a harder question like the one about... 
too inappropriate to say. His words. But the pineapple question had come full circle to the Vampire Academy cast. There you have it, the abridged version of my Vampire Academy story. If we went into details, we'd have a eight part documentary series on our hands. Comment down below if you'd like to see a Shadowhunters version of this. The story would include running off with a fake dead body, dumping it behind stage, and then leaving the show early to go see City of Bones in the cinema. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos.